Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. Let's take a look at a couple of more examples on function machines. I'm going to go ahead and draw out my new function machine. And for this function machine, let's let our equation inside be y equals x squared minus 4. And let's have our input be x equals 5. So 5 is my input. It's being dropped into my function machine. And I want to see how does that equation change my input to become my new output of y equals. Now all we need to do is solve this equation off to the side. So let's rewrite our equation. y equals x squared minus 4. And again, I'm not actually going to write x because I know what my variable equals x equals 5. So instead of writing an x, I'm going to write 5. Now let's solve this equation. y equals 5 squared is the same thing as 5 times 5, and 5 times 5 is 25. I bring down the minus 4, and the last step is just 25 minus 4, which makes 21. So my output is y equals 21. Now for the next example, let's go ahead and keep the same function machine with the same equation inside, y equals x squared minus 4. But this time, let's change our input to be x equals negative 5. So last time I did positive 5, let's see what happens when I use a negative 5. So the negative 5 is my input, it's being dropped inside. And I still want to find out what my output will be. All right, let's follow that same process again. Off to the side, rewriting my equation. y equals x squared minus 4. And again, instead of writing x, I'm going to write negative 5. Now I just need to solve this equation. y equals, well, negative 5 squared is the same thing as negative 5 times negative 5, which turns into positive 25. I bring down the negative 4, and the last step is just 25 minus 4, which makes 21. So my output is 21. So this is a great example of how you can use the same function machine that has the same equation inside and you can get the same output by using two different inputs. In this case, since our function machine had x squared, that square is going to turn every negative input that we put in to a positive number. So the negative and the positive input value will always give you the same output. Well, that's it for this video. It's That Math Magician, and I'll see you next time.